This is a video we've had a lot of requests for, how to set up your cleat for a clipless pedal. In this instance, we're going to show you using a Dura-Ace cleat and a Dura-Ace pedal. So we're back with Ollie Beckinsale, an expert bike fitter who's going to explain exactly how to do it. We've already mounted the cleat and it's quite simple to do and it's hard to get wrong. But if you are struggling, then go back to the instructions which came with your pedals and cleat. So we've mounted it just loosely on the sole of the shoe. What's the next step that we should take? Okay, so before we start bolting things down and getting too carried away, it's important to look at you. Okay, so establishing um, where your feet, the angle of your feet, where they naturally sit on the bike, and then also establishing where the balls of the feet are in relation to the shoe and the cleat. Yeah, okay, so in terms of setting up the angle, how do we know, you know where our feet should be at an angle okay, on so the pedals? Okay, so a great one to do is, is sit on a table and just let your feet dangle over the side at 90 degrees and just look down and see where your feet naturally sit. The majority of people will sit slightly heel in. So a good place to start, putting the cleat in a, in a mid position on the travel. So there's an adjustment fore and aft. On most cleats, it's a couple of centimetres. So put them in the middle of the travel. And the best thing to do then is to um, put your foot in the shoe and then find the ball of the foot for the big toe and put a little dot on that one. Draw a little bit on your shoe and then move on to the bike. And what we're looking to do is to get the balls of the feet Okay, they come across slightly at an angle, okay, and we're looking to get the balls of the feet to dissect the pedal axle. So all the pressure is going through the bones and not through the, the toes, for example. So what we're looking to do is get this marker just to the front of that pedal axle. So I've undone the bolts again and I'm just going to slide that one back, making sure I keep the angle was correct before. So I'm going to make sure that I keep the same angle and just come back a notch. So I'm just moving the ball of my foot further in front by moving the cleat back. Most pedals come with well, availability of different cleats, so some that are, are completely fixed so that your heel can't move at all, some have got a bit more float, some I think up to, to 9 degrees. So how do you know whether you want to have your feet kind of locked in position or whether you need quite a lot of movement? So for most people I think um, a kind of standard float cleat, um, so with a look pedal out the box I think it's four and a half, a grey cleat. Um, I don't think there's any reason to go up to a 7 degree or a 9 degree red look cleat for example or down to a fixed cleat unless they've got a real specific issue most people will have a benefit from having some float okay we're looking to get a bit of that float either side from where your feet naturally sit so we've, we've had a good guess of where that is by sitting on the side and looking where our feet naturally sit on the side of the table okay, and i'm just going to pause okay i'm so looking for a bit of float each side so there's a bit that side and a bit that side from where our feet naturally sit so we've got those cleats spot on if you're right up against the spring, so you don't have any float at all, or that float isn't either side of the travel, you can end up causing a knee injury because of a minor back problem that you don't know about. So having that float gives you a little bit of backup. All right, thanks very much indeed. And if there's anything more in terms of bike fit, which you'd like us to come back and ask Ollie, please let us know in the comments section below this video. Getting your bike well set up to your body can make the difference between riding in comfort and riding in pain. And for those of us chasing performance, can be the cornerstone to reaching your full potential.